Hi everyone, I'm going to do a demonstration of some harder questions for symbolization. They're not really harder, they just uh, sort of involve a bit more parts, um, but they break down in the exact same way and we'll take a look. So this first one, for Don to get the job, it is sufficient that he get an interview, however he won't get an interview. Now, it's pretty easy to spot, however is a connective, we also have the connective, it is sufficient, um, what else do we have? We see that we have a comma here, we have a won't here, and that's pretty much that. For Don to get the job, okay, I look around, Q, Don gets the job, it is sufficient that he gets an interview, uh, Don gets an interview is P, however is and, he won't get an in interview, so that's not P. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. The only thing that might throw us off is sufficient. We know that sufficient is a conditional. I just have to know, does sufficient introduce the antecedent or the consequent? It actually introduces the antecedent. So which is the sufficient condition? Don getting the job or he gets an interview? For Don to get the job, it is sufficient that he gets an interview. So P is the sufficient condition for Q. I put that in brackets because I want the main connective to be the however, because that's the part with the comma, that's the break that binds everything. He won't get an interview. That's it. So, pretty straightforward question, uh, worth three marks on a test. Next, only if Sarah is in charge of hiring will exactly two of Rosie, Martha, and Don get an interview. So, some obvious sort of uh, tricks here. The first is I have only, and that's paired with a connective only if. Okay, no problem. Um, I have exactly two which is a nice sort of uh, phrase that we need to know for numerical. And other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So if Sarah's in charge of hiring, that's X, exactly two of Rosie, Martha, and Don get an interview. So let's just write these letters out. Rosie gets an interview is R, Martha gets an interview is T, and Don gets an interview is Q. So I just need to say exactly two. Now typically, if only wasn't there, this would say, if Sarah is in charge of hiring, then exactly two. But because the only is there, this will actually say, not this way, but will say exactly two, then x. So now to finish, I just need to say exactly two of RTQ. So how do I say exactly two? Well, I can just do it the really long way. I'll say R and T and not Q or R and not T and Q, or not R and T and Q. So that's exactly two. Uh, I don't really need brackets around the entire antecedent, but I could put them anyway. It doesn't matter. So there you go. Next. Rosie will get an interview exactly on the condition that not both Martha and Don get an interview, although Rosie will get the job, only provided that Sarah is not the boss. Now this might seem really long, but this is no big deal. Exactly on the condition is an important connective, not both is another one. Now I should realize that there is a big uh, comma here, and I have the word although. What that tells me is that this is a conjunction, and the main connective here is that is the and from the although. With that in mind, I don't have to worry about this really, really long thing. I'm just going to symbolize the left conjunct first, and then I'll symbolize the right conjunct second. So that's no problem. Rosie will get an interview is R. Exactly on the condition is a biconditional. Not both. Well, I have to know how to symbolize that. Martha and Don get an interview. Martha gets an interview is T. Don gets an interview is P. So I'm ready to symbolize the left conjunct. It's R, biconditional not both T and P. And I can symbolize that like so. Not bracket T and P close bracket. Of course I could symbolize this the other way. It looks like this. That's also acceptable. Now I want the main connective to be AND, so I'd better put this in brackets to preserve the AND as the main connective. Now I can symbolize the right conjunct. And notice symbolizing the right conjunct has nothing to do with symbolizing the left. Rosie will get the jo job only provided that Sarah is not the boss. So, what's the symbol for Rosie will get the job? S. What's the symbol for Sarah is not the boss? Not Y. No problem. 
Now, again, if the only is not here, this would say, provided that Sarah is not the boss, Rosie will get the job, which is not Y arrow S. But once I insert the only, that's not the way. It's actually S arrow not Y. I put those in brackets to preserve the and as the main connective. So at first glance, this seems like sort of a hard question. There's lots of parts and all these things. But once you realize that it's just an and, you can just treat each conjunct totally separately, and the symbolization is quite easy. OK, example five. Symbolize the following ambiguous sentence in two different ways. It is not the case that Sarah is the boss, and she is in charge of hiring. So uh, not the case, so that's a negation. Sarah is the boss, Y, and she is in charge of hiring is x. So one way to symbolize this is to say like this, not y and x. So this, in this case, we actually think it's not the case, only modify Sarah is the boss. But notice without a comma, it could be that it's not the case actually modifies the entire thing like this. So the other way to symbolize it is like so. In the first example, the and is the main connective. In the second example, the negation is the main connective, and that's how we play around with the ambiguity of this sentence. It's not clear if the negation is modifying the entire thing or just the first part of the conjunction. Finally, we have a translation question. This looks like a big mess, and things sort of look weird. The way to analyze this is just to ask, what does this thing here actually mean in logic? And we just need to recognize that this means exactly, sorry, not exactly, at least two. But it actually means at least two of Q, not R, not S. OK, that's easy. What does this thing mean? Well, negation of an OR is neither nor. Now to finish this, I just need to plug everything in. I need to plug in what Q, not R, not S is, what P and T is. So I would say something like this. If at least two of Scott doing construction, or Aiden doesn't go to school, or Maya doesn't eat her dinner, occur, then neither Becky is sad, nor is she tired. I'm not going to bother writing that out. You can try it for yourself. It's a good exercise for you to do. OK, so these are nice examples of slightly more difficult symbolization. We had an ambiguous example and a translation. These are perfect examples of test questions. In fact, they come from one of my previous tests. So I highly suggest you take a close look at them, try them on your own. Good luck.